Hello everybody, welcome to Hey Kids Let's Draw. Thank you so much for joining us, we really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We get a lot of views and we'd love to see you guys that are watching our channel subscribe to show your support, it really helps us out. Tonight we are going to draw Larry Bird, Hall of Fame basketball player, one of the top 50 greatest of all time in the NBA. Larry Bird played for Indiana State University and was the sixth pick clear back in 1978. So a lot of us weren't born, but hey, if you study Larry Bird and his game, you'll know that he's one of the greatest. So Larry Bird played for the Boston Celtics and he was actually the only person in history to be named Rookie of the Year, MVP, Finals MVP, All-Star MVP, Coach of the Year, and Executive of the Year. Let's get started, Larry Bird. Find the center of your page up and down, the center of your page across, and we're gonna do the cartoon Larry Bird up top. Larry Bird's got kind of a longer face, so we're gonna do a big, long chin here. So here we go. Start here and br bring down the chin. Kind of a narrow face, okay? Ears up higher. A Couple of ovals on the side there. We're gonna bring the side of the head up. That's kind of a weird shape, huh? It's a swoop. This is the part of his hair. And then down, okay? Now let's draw his hair kind of going out to the side. This is like 1970s, early 80s hair. Almost looks like, um, like Albert Einstein hair. So what I'm doing is I'm just making a bunch of squiggly marks and bringing it behind his head here. So now he's got smaller eyes, he's gonna be smiling. We're gonna do a couple of arches. One arch, and another eye, arch for the eye, okay? Now come up and down. Come up and connect down. These are the eyes. We're gonna do a circle on the inside. A circle on the inside, those circles will stay white. Kind of fill that air kind of uh, outline that white area with your black marker a little bit and leave those circles white on the inside. And really fast, I'm gonna get a light blue, maybe trace around this black with this light blue just to give him a little color to his eyes. All right, now Larry Bird's got this big kind of long pointy nose, so we're gonna bring it down, edge the eye down, dot. Edge of the eye down, dot. Okay, we're gonna go nostril, down to a point, and up. We're gonna bring a big line down. Big nose. Okay, now his smile, it's a little smile, so we're gonna start at the edge of the nose. See that, it's kind of a bird. Bump, bump, on the edge. Bump it up, bump it up. Bring it down, flat, and up. Color the corners of that mouth black. Bring a line across for his teeth. A little line underneath the mouth for his lip, okay? His chin goes up, his chin goes up, and he's actually got couple of smile lines from his nose. He's got a mustache. Back in the 80s, he, he had this mustache. So let's bring it down. Bring it down off the side of that mouth. There we go. Larry Bird looking good. Eyebrows we'll do in a minute with a different color. So let's do the neck right off of this chin. Down, down, round out the neck. Connect, jersey, jersey shoulder. Round out that armpit. Round out the armpit, slant inward to the waist, straight across, slant inward to the waist, connect it there. Okay, he's got a waistband, so we just made a little rectangle. Now back in the 80s and 70s, Larry Bird wore very, very, very short shorts, so let's do those. Down, over, up, down, over, and up. 
Are those short enough? I think those are very short. So let's bring his legs down, start wide at the knee, and slant in toward the ankle and connect. Wide at the knee, slant in and connect. They used to wear their socks really high, so we're gonna do a line. And these will be the socks, okay. Let's do the shoes he wore. Before there were Air Jordans and before there were Nikes, these basketball players used to wear Converse shoes. So let's draw his black Converse shoes. Tongue of the shoe, tongue of the shoe. One, two, three bumps for the shoelaces. One, two, three bumps for the shoelaces. Bring the big toes out to the edge, down. Straight across to the heel, stop, and connect. Bring the heel down, stop. Go straight across to the edge of the page. Round up that toe and connect to the shoelace. There we go, let's do a big basketball right here, a big circle. Best we can here. Circles are hard to do freehand, so just do your best. They don't have to be perfect. Okay, there's a circle. Small circle, two, three, four small, small circles for the fingers dribbling that basketball. Let's bring a shoulder out. Bring that arm into that basketball. Bump and bump into that basketball. Okay, same thing over here. Let's do a shoulder, bump, bump, and a long bump. Bump, bump, and a long bump. Skinny to the wrist. We'll do his hand. Cool, we have Larry Bird blocked out. I can't believe we did it. All right, you guys, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna grab my green Celtics pointed tip and I'm gonna start to do the 33. Actually, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do a swoop for the neck and then a green stripe inside. Go slow. So we got white, green, white, green, okay? Same thing on the sleeve, we got White, green, white, green. White, green, white, green. Awesome, looking good. We'll do a stripe on the shorts. Did an L. Backwards L. Same thing, white, green, white, green. So follow that shape. Green marker, follow that shape. Awesome, now let's do the number 33. Straight across, angle down, angle down. Same thing over here. That's the top of our three. These numbers are a little challenging, so go slow or press pause if you need to. Down, in, out, down, in. Straight across, angle up. I do these numbers a lot more probably than you guys do, so I'm a little, they're a little easier for me, but I know how hard they are, so good luck. You might wanna get a picture and kinda of study what they look like. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to color all of this green. Fill in the shorts green, the jerseys green. And then I'm gonna come back on top of the green with something we call a Prismacolor. These Prismacolors are pencils. They're special colored pencils that allow you to draw on top of the marker. Okay, and then I'll write the word Celtics in this white Prismacolor pencil. These Prismacolors can be found, the link can be found in the description below. These are fun art um, pencils. They're a little more expensive, but they're high quality. So check these out in the description below. Okay, so we are going to fast forward now. Larry Bird, thank you so much for joining us. And don't forget to subscribe. We really like the support and let us know who we should draw next. Fast forward now.